Yeah, ladies, we learned President Biden tested positive for COVID at 10 o'clock this morning. Then we got an update on his condition at 2.30. So here's what we've learned. The 79-year-old president is currently in isolation. That's the recommendation from the CDC. However, the president is working from his residence and will continue to work. Doctors diagnosed the president with COVID during routine screening that happened before a planned trip today. The president's doctor then sent a letter revealing the president has mild symptoms. So we're talking about a runny nose, fatigue, and a dry cough. The president is fully vaccinated and double boosted. He got his second booster at the end of March. The president's doctor says he's taking uh, Paxlovid, which is an antiviral drug designed to reduce the severity of the disease. Now, we want to let you know that the first lady tested negative today for COVID. She is a close contact, but she's following the CDC guidelines by wearing a mask. She made an appearance this morning at a school in Detroit. So here's what the first lady had to say about the president's diagnosis. My husband tested positive for COVID. I talked to him just a few minutes ago. He's doing fine. He's feeling good. Vice President Kamala Harris tested negative for COVID today. She is keeping her normal schedule and made a trip to Charlotte, North Carolina today. Now, the White House is saying there is no plan right now or need to transfer executive authority to the vice president. We don't know where the president caught COVID or which variant infected the president. They are running tests to figure that out. And.